Hello language learners, welcome back to Future Horizon, your destination for English language excellence. Today we're diving into the heart of everyday conversations for beginners. Picture this, you're at a cafe, a store or meeting a friend and you're able to communicate with ease. We're covering everything from ordering your favorite cup of joe to asking for directions. So grab a notepad and let's get started. Remember, being able to place an order is both practical and rewarding. Let's begin with ordering at a cafe or restaurant, a common scenario in daily life. Being able to articulate your desires clearly can make your dining experiences more enjoyable and hassle-free. This starts with expressing what you want. Phrases like, I would like, can I have or, or I'll take, are polite and straightforward ways to order. Next, let's talk about food and drink vocabulary. These are the words you'll often use when ordering at a cafe or restaurant. Some common ones include coffee, tea, sandwich, salad, water, and juice. So how do you put it all together? Let's imagine you're at a cafe and you want to order a coffee. You could say, I would like a coffee, please. Just like that, you've successfully placed your order. It's that simple and effective. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to use these phrases the next time you're dining out. Now let's explore shopping conversations, another crucial part of daily life. Navigating a store or market can be a breeze with the right phrases. When you're out shopping, expressing interest in items becomes essential. Phrases like, I'm looking for, or do you have, can make your shopping experience smooth and enjoyable. For instance, if you're at a bookshop, you might ask, do you have any mystery novels? Another useful phrase is, where can I find? This phrase is especially handy when you're in a large store and need help locating something specific. So, you might ask, where can I find the fresh fruits? Let's not forget about some common shopping items. You'll often hear words like shoes, clothes, fruits, vegetables, and books. So next time you're at a store, don't hesitate to ask, do you have these shoes in my size? Or, I'm looking for a suspense thriller book, where can I find it? You might say, I'm looking for a book, where can I find it? Engage confidently with these simple phrases. Next, let's learn how to ask for directions. Whether you're in a new city or just exploring, asking for help is a great skill. It's all about knowing the right phrases and having the courage to ask. Let's start with some common phrases you can use. Where is the is a straightforward way to ask for a specific place. How do I get to is another useful phrase, especially if you're looking for a route or path. And if you're unsure about the distance, is it far from here? is a simple question that can give you an idea. Now let's combine these phrases with some common places you might need to find. Places like the library, pharmacy, park, train station, or restaurant. So in practice, you could ask, excuse me, where is the nearest park? Or how do I get to the library? These phrases are simple yet effective in finding your way around. Remember, people are generally helpful so don't be afraid to ask for directions. It's a great way to practice your English and navigate new surroundings. You could say, excuse me, where is the nearest park? Simple yet effective in finding your way around. Lastly, let's dive into casual conversations with friends. Building connections is key to a fulfilling social life. When it comes to starting a conversation, there are a few phrases that can come in handy. Consider using, how have you been? Or what have you been up to? Or even simply, how's your day going? These open-ended questions can spark a multitude of responses, making the conversation more engaging and meaningful. Now, when it comes to sharing activities and interests, it's all about expressing your passions. You might say, I enjoy painting, or I love going to the theater, or I'm a fan of mystery novels. This not only gives a glimpse into your world, but also invites the other person to share their interests. For example, you could say, how have you been? I enjoy hiking. This not only asks about their well-being, but also provides a conversation starter about your hobby. It's a great way to bond with your friends. And that wraps up our lesson on everyday conversations for beginners. We've armed you with the essentials. Now it's your turn. Practice these phrases. Dare to step out of your comfort zone and embrace real-life situations. You'll find that with each conversation, your confidence will blossom. If this lesson has been beneficial, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more enriching English language tutorials. Thank you for being with us at Future Horizon. Until next time, happy learning. Goodbye.